Previously on Transformers Prime. Bravo, Optimus. You may wish to save your strength for the main event. We need to find Fowler and get these kids out of here. It's your fault that we're stuck in this intensity. What were you thinking, Miko? I know math when I see it, and that is one serious equation. If this was just an average day with the Autobots, then I don't want to be a part of it. Your mindless agenda resulted in the disabling of my ship and the delay of my plans! Ah! Megatron's building a space bridge to bring through his conquering army. But the only place Megatron could recruit that many fallen warriors... Cybertron. We cannot allow Megatron to send Dark Energon through his space bridge. If we fail, the dead of Cybertron will rise. Swarm through its vortex and invade Earth, bending humankind to Megatron's twisted rule. Nice bike. Uh, RC, really, Miko already tried. Tell Optimus I respect him big time, but if you're at war with the Decepticons, there's nothing I can do to help. Optimus didn't send me, and no one's asking for your help. Okay, so if we both agree that I'm not warrior material, I... Jack, I just lost someone I cared about. Maybe it's the grief talking. Maybe you're growing on me. Whatever it is, I'm just not ready to say goodbye. Optimus, I've pinpointed the location of Megatron's space bridge. High in Earth's orbit. Out of our reach. Okay, so you guys don't fly, but can't you just ground bridge there? The ground bridge has limited range. Stretched all the way into orbit, its vortex could snap and scatter us to the stars. Since Megatron is likely already in transit, I'm afraid we must take that risk. Reaching the space bridge first is our only means of stopping him. Hey, guess who's back? Autobots, prepare for departure. Where to? The final frontier. Space? I, I thought they didn't have any way to get there. They don't. Really? Um, be seeing you? Be careful, B. I'm so jealous! Don't even think about following me. Optimus, if you leave me stranded on a planet teeming with humans, I will never forgive you. Until we meet again, old friend. Autobots, roll out! Maximum overdrive! Autobots, transform and gravitize! Look down, or up, or left. So Megatron's packing enough dark energon to raise Cybertron's dead? And since we don't possess ready means of disabling the space bridge, nothing gets in or out. 
Optimus Prime never disappoints. Unlike you, Starscream. <laughs> no need for concern, Master. The sound wave is locking onto Cybertron's coordinates. Per my instructions. <laughs> Well, what are they waiting for? It appears the Decepticons have sustained serious damage to their interstellar navigation system. Huh, that's my handiwork. Great job, Bulkhead. Without the dish, Megatron will be unable to aim the space bridge at Cybertron. Don't the Decepticons know where their own planet is? Naturally. But Cybertron is many light years away. To reach their target, their aim must be astronomically precise. If Megatron went to the trouble of rendezvousing with his space bridge, he must have an alternate targeting system. A remote one. Hmm. From what I know of Earth's technology, I doubt there exists a single radio telescope dish on this planet powerful enough to pinpoint Cybertron. What about a whole bunch of linked radio telescope dishes? Like the giant size array in Texas. This is not child's play. Good thinking, Raph. Ratchet, have Agent Fowler alert the array staff to the security hazard. You, soldier, you're out of uniform. Put on some pants. That may be a challenge. I can't get past the array's firewalls. They're too thick. You? Actually think you could keep the Decepticons out? Maybe, if I could get in. Wait, 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 Raph, what if we could get you all the way in? Like, inside the building in? I could log into their internal network on the other side of the firewall. The risk is too great. The Decepticons will be there, perhaps even on site. Optimus, with all due respect, you said it yourself. This is bigger than the safety of three humans. Yeah! If we let the cons win, we're fragged, along with everyone else on our planet. Raph? I want to give it a shot. Surely, Lord Megatron, the Autobots are up to something. Really, Starscream? <laughs> Crush them! Here comes the welcoming committee. That'll take some getting used to. Whoa. Sure is lax in this place. I'm in. And so are the Decepticons. What? How can you tell? Schematics. With the same alien math we saw on their ship. But this time, I can download them. It's gotta be the space bridge. The Decepticons are sinking it to the dishes. But I can sink to them. Uh, will they know? Even if the Decepticons see that I'm in the system, they'll have no idea I'm in the house. What just happened? The Decepticons are locking on to Cybertron. Lord Megatron, the space bridge is ready for activation. Finally! They're locked on to Cybertron, but not for long. D 
indeed, Bumblebee. This can only be Raph's doing. Starscream! What is happening? <laughs> Soundwave! What is happening? The dishes are heading back towards Cybertron. I'll just undo that again. What happens when the cons realize they're being punked? It's only virtual combat. You know, like online gaming. Yeah, Jack. What are the cons gonna do? They're probably like a thousand miles away. I won't let him lock on again. the hard line. The dishes are locked onto Cybertron. For good. Now, Starscream? Now. beat a whole planet of the undead. Optimus, I'm registering a rapidly expanding mass in their space bridge vortex, one with a peculiar energy signature. Dark Energon. Ratchet, we must destroy the space bridge. There's enough live Energon coursing through it to achieve detonation, but we lack the firepower to ignite it. If I knew how the space bridge was engineered, I might find a technical way of accomplishing that feat. Um, would schematics help? Optimus, I must say. The space bridge is our sole hope of ever returning to Cybertron. Are you certain its destruction is the only option? I am afraid so. Then by all means, let us light our darkest hour. Autobots, take your positions and follow Ratchet's lead. While I make my stand. Your fellow Autobots are wise, Optimus. They know when to retreat. I hold no illusions about engaging your army, Megatron. But I might derail its objective by removing its head. <laughs> Highly unlikely, Optimus, as I am infused with their very might! One shall stand, one shall fall.
getting closer. That's bad, right? Ratchet, we're in position. RC, pay close attention. I do not wish to question your all-seeing wisdom, but I believe the Autobots are up to something again. Beneath your bridge this time. Ah, misdirection, Optimus. You would have made a fine Decepticon. I chose my side. <laughs> My army approaches. Rendezvous with the space bridge for pickup. Now follow the line from the flow regulator to the Energon pump. There should be a valve. I see it. Good. To turn all that power against itself, all you need do is reverse the current. <sighs> ah! Current reversed. Yes! Right? I'll ready the ground bridge. Decepticons, it is with deep sorrow that I note for the log, Megatron's spark has been extinguished. All hail Starscream. Do you think they're... Four life signals. One very faint. Spark, don't let it be two. RC. Jack, really? There are other motorcycles in the world. But you're my first. And Megatron? Not even he could have survived Ground Zero. Prime! I didn't get to thank you bots for the save. I owe you one. We all do. So, 
Is this the part where you say goodbye and tell us we need to forget we ever saw you? Without a means of leaving this world, we Autobots take strength in the bonds we have forged with our three young friends. True warriors. If not in body, then in spirit. My name is Optimus Prime, and I send this message. Though we did not choose to be of Earth, it would seem that we are here to stay. If you approach this planet with hostile intent, know this. We will defend ourselves. We will defend humanity. We will defend our home.